Hi everyone, this is Steve from Steve's Fishing Channel. How's it going? First off, um, I just want to let you know I went to a new location today, Clapham Common. They've got um, apparently three ponds there. I went to the Eagle one and man, it was great. Um, now Mitchum's okay, you know, I've caught quite a few fish out of there. The first day I caught 30, second day 35, third day 40, and that's over at Mitch Common. But today was even better. I went to the Eagle Lake over at Clapham Common and the Eagle has only got carp and roaching. They do have plans to put other species of fishing out in the near future, which one of the um, bailiffs told me. Um, when that's going to be, I don't know. Uh, they do ask you to uh, register uh, for like a season ticket or whatever it is but that's totally free all you need is a form um, to fill in and then you send the form off with a passport size photo to your address and uh, you receive that uh, in the near future because it's a new thing they're actually uh, doing uh, because apparently Clapham Cl Common has been having a lot of like hooligans here so they're trying to keep the fishermen, you know, at bay and make sure that none of them are like the hooligans and whatnot. And if they do start messing around, then they'll be kicked off the uh, the common and not be able to fish anymore. Now today I went, as I say, to the eagle one, and man, it was fabulous. I was catching fish from that size to that size, and that's probably about a pound and a half, two pound. There are bigger fish in there, just that ice float fishing, and. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I did feel like if I was catching some bigger ones, but they was just coming off the hook because I was using a size 16 at first. So if they were big ones, you know, they was just probably spitting the uh, the hook out. I did go down to a 14. I did start catching a pound, pound and a half. Uh, but even still, you know, I think the bigger fish just weren't getting hooked because every time I felt like I was catching something bigger, as I start running it in, kaboom, the fish just came off the yuck. So, you know, it's a bit of a shame, but you know, um, the reason why I say it's excellent because I must have caught at least 80 plus fish today, and that's from 10 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night. Um, the reason why I came home early, I would have stayed there later, but I had to come home early because there was a, a delivery for me. Uh, it did come yesterday, but no one was here to sign for it. So I put a notice on the door and that box came through my two man tent. I've got a, like a, a bivvy, but the bivvy hasn't got like a a front cover so you can keep the rain out. This one has, so this was only like about 14 quid on eBay. Well worth it. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is tell you a little thing. Um, many of you who go fishing, of course, once maggots. Now you can get maggots in a couple of ways, uh, different kind of forms and colours I should say. Uh, most fishermen usually go for white or pink. Some say you like different colours, react different to the fish. I myself like to get a good multicolour picks here. I have uh, green, orange, white, two different type of pinks. I have seen the odd purple one in there. Uh, this one here, if I can get it before it gets down to the bottom. That one there looks to me more of a, a brownish gold. I have seen a purple one in there, a couple of purple ones in there. There's two different types of green. There's the light green. There's the light green one. And then you've got the dark green up. Like a, a well, it's all more like a greeny blue. And now I'll put a couple of blue ones in there as well. Now, you're probably saying, well, how in hell do they make them into a different colour? Well, easy. It's just dye, and uh, if you want to go to the shop and get like 
mixed colours like so then all what you've got to do is ask for like mixed ones if they haven't got none then there is a way you can actually do your own mixed ones what you want to do first before you go fishing is go to eBay like I did and buy some of this particular dye now although this shows gold it will turn out green and this one here it looks like a pink but it goes orange now I'm going to show you and prove that to you now, what I had to do was dig out loads of white ones from my other maggot box because in my other maggot box I have just got pink and white now these maggots to keep longer stick in the fridge or you know stick outside if it's really cold I had to dig out white ones from this box here so um, now I'm going to try something else later with pink ones I'm going to see if I can change the pink into a different colour later uh, but I won't be doing that on video I'm just going to show you the two colours I've got right now now I actually dug some white ones out of that box I just showed you and what I want to do is first of all get something you can use on your table so you won't make a mess because the first bunch I've done ended up making my table messy and it's, this is the state the two tissues and the nappy wipe I used to clean your table up with and also your kitty get permission from your mother and father or your wife if you've got a wife or girlfriend and I don't mind you making a little bit of a mess right so what I'm going to do is put some of these maggots in this one and the rest in that one like so now you're going to say well if that's green but it's gold how in hell are they going to turn green well that's what I thought I actually poured a little bit of this in here just a, a touch and uh, the other one I put in here like so you don't want too much this dye I actually got off eBay and you get 25 grams for two pound and that includes postage now what I did was I shook them up like so and I thought well they look a bit pinky but they should be more orangey that's what it says on the bag orange so then I checked the, uh, the green ones out gave that a shake don't worry, you won't harm the maggots. Maggots get killed when you feed them to the fish. This ain't going to cause much harm to them. And after shaking that up, I thought, well, they still look a bit white to me. Now, what they don't explain is how you turn the colours, the maggots, into the proper colours. So what I did was a little experiment. All you need is a drop of water like so about a quarter of a cup like so just a drop 
and add more if you need it and then you pour that in like so and then you'll see it start turning green right give it a little shake probably might need a bit more green but I'm going to make these a kind of a lighter colour and they will start turning green but because it's wet maggots can climb up and they will get out I know that because I've already done some and those getting out of the, uh, the cover so what you want to do is just keep them in there for now like so and you can concentrate on your other ones again about a quarter little bottle cap in there like so and then get a lid now these will probably turn out like a, a light orange on for a moment because what I need to do and I've got to get it is some dust now what I mean by dust I just use like normal ground bait actually so um, I'm just going to go and get some dust in here be back in a moment Sorry about that, I knew I'd always forget something. Now what I've done is that I've got some of this roach red ground bait that do just as fine. Any ground bait will do. Now what you want is another two of these empty and just put some of this ground bait in the other two containers. So, don't really need too much. And what you do is tap that down because maggots are actually climbing up. And what you do is you pour those wash it off, it won't come off perfectly but it will come off and what you want to do then is just give that a little bit of a shake like so and although it may look like the colours come off the colour will still be there now you could just wait and let it soak in a bit longer and then put the dust on that later on 
but to me that's good enough and with the green ones it's that ain't good because you know, the green could be a bit better and you just do the same you put the green in the dust which I'm not going to do because I'm going to make those um, soak in a bit more and then put it in with the dust and, and then you've got your green ones done and that's all to it and once they've dried off you can put them all together and make a nice little mixture here's some I've done earlier that made a bit of a, a balls up on it that's green and it's supposed to be like orange as well there is one or two oranges but they came out a little bit pinkish but you know my own little mixture we'll see where it goes down at the old um, lake later on in the week now what you want to do is keep this cool um, put them in the fridge if your mother lets you or your girlfriend or wife wrap them up in a, a plastic bag and then put them in the fridge and they'll be okay and maggots can last up to a week before they start changing into chrysalis or put them outside um, in a cold make sure they've got air holes you know normal bait box just put it outside in the cold and hopefully they will continue lasting but they won't last as long as a week they probably last four or five days depending on how old they are where you got them from like you know fine line for instance in tubing he gets his once a week friday so if you was going there friday that'd be fresh if you went in there like monday or tuesday that that over half a week old already and starting to turn into chrysalis so you know if you can try to get fresh maggots and if you're going to dye your own get pure white ones and then you know just muck around with different dyes and uh, that's it really um, just one more thing I actually ordered 600 size 16 hooks from Hong Kong which was very cheap the only thing is size 16 is not our normal size 16 hook this is the Hong Kong size 16 now normal 16 is at least three quarters smaller than that so these are either for sea fishing or you could probably use these for um, say carp fishing you know you're going to be fishing for good sized ones you know you know double figures that may work uh, but you know these were doing them as a pack the 500 I think it was oh, I'm not going to use 500 so I'll be giving them a packet away to a friend or two of mine and see if they need them you know help other people out they help you out um, but be careful when you buy Hong Kong you know the sizes are completely different to me that would have been like a size 4 or f size 6 probably anyway Thanks for watching, this is Steve from Steve's Fishing Channel, hope the uh, information on how to change your maggots to a different colour was helpful, um, again you can get the dye from eBay, 25 grams, 199 some of the deeper colours like blue and uh, purple and uh, red are a little bit more expensive, about 2 or £3, pound, something like that but it does include the postage and they usually take about two or three days to, for the dye to come through the post and uh, once you've got your, your dye you can go and buy your maggots and you know just dye them really you know dye them to the colour you want them dyed to um, but you know get permission from the homeowner wife, girlfriend, mother or father if you're a kiddie and just have a bit of fun you know making your own little mixture up well thanks for watching this is steve saying bye for now bye bye